Welcome to the journey. I had two tough days a few days ago. Lockdown was getting to me and I was feeling very restricted. It had been raining, so cabin fever was also at an all-time high. And on the evening of the second day, I was told by a good friend who I was complaining to that I was allowing myself to sink into negativity. Are you not wallowing in negativity? I was asked. It is what it is. You can't change that. Do your part. Take each day as it comes and be thankful, is what I was told. And these words were frank. They were hard to hear. There was an apology that came at the end saying, sorry for being so harsh. But the next day, I woke up very early and I was sitting quietly thinking about that exchange. And I realized that I was grateful. But something else also struck me as I thought about that. And it was just simply the word wisdom. It's the quality of being sensible, of having experience, of being knowledgeable, of being discerning and having good judgment. And it comes, I thought to myself, in different guises. You know, friends, there is a wisdom that comes from within. And yet when we get bogged down or are too busy or are so quick to go off and do other things or feel overwhelmed, we can easily miss that inner wisdom. And then things begin to go awry. Emotions take control. And emotions can be controlling and irrational. And we know logically that we can reach a level of freedom when we don't allow our emotions to be in control. But there's also a wisdom that comes from without. A wisdom that speaks to us through events and through people, sometimes in firm ways that we don't always appreciate at the time. But we need that outer voice, reminding us to take back the control that we have relinquished in order to live in balance. And the truth is that we need both types of wisdom. When they're not held in balance, that's when things go awry. You see, if we only live from inner wisdom, what happens is that there's a great danger that we can be held ransom to our emotions and even to our ego. When we live only from outer wisdom, there's also a great danger that we become infantile. We're always looking for someone else to tell us what to do. And that ultimately diminishes us. When we honor both, when they are in balance, we touch an even greater wisdom because God is the source of all wisdom and God is the balance. Emotions are beautiful and they're a very necessary part of us. We are not trying to negate emotion. It is rather their balance that is important. You know, St. Ignatius Loyola knew the importance of emotion. He believed and taught that we not only find God in our feelings, but we also find where God is leading us through our feelings. And so when we feel inclined to greater faith, to greater hope, to greater trust and love, this is good and this is a sign that God is leading us. And when our feelings lead us to perhaps the opposite, that we don't have such great faith or great hope or great trust or great love, we need to recognize that something is awry. Sometimes when we are disconnected from our inner wisdom, the voice of outer wisdom steers us back and so we can begin to find balance. And so for inner and for outer wisdom, we need to be grateful. Let's store up the times that they are briefly in balance and we touch their very source. Then we know that God is present. That is the equilibrium that we ultimately desire to live from. And so today, what is your inner wisdom saying and ask yourself too what might be the words of wisdom 
coming to you from outside to steer you on your way.